Today is the Feast of St. Thomas the Apostle on this the 21st of December. The readings will come from Psalm 18, 1 to 15, and John 20, 19 to 29. And so let's begin. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Unto the end, a psalm for David. The heavens show forth the glory of God, and the firmament declareth the work of his hands. Day to day uttereth speech, and night to night showeth knowledge. There are no speeches nor languages where their voices are not heard. Their sound hath gone forth into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. He hath set his tabernacle in the sun, and he, as a bridegroom coming out of his bride chamber, hath rejoiced as a giant to run the way. His going out is from the end of heaven, and his circuit even to the end thereof, and there is no one that can hide himself from his heat. The law of the Lord is unspotted, converting souls. The testimony of the Lord is faithful, giving wisdom to little ones. The justices of the Lord are right, rejoicing hearts. The commandment of the Lord is lightsome, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is holy, enduring forever and ever. The judgments of the Lord are true, justified in themselves. More to be desired than gold and many precious stones and sweeter than honey and the honeycomb. For thy servant keepeth them, and in keeping them there is a great reward. Who can understand this? Who can understand sins? From my secret ones cleanse me, O Lord, and from those of others spare thy servant. If they shall have no dominion over me, then shall I be without spot, and I shall be cleansed from the greatest sin. And the words of my mouth shall be such as may please, and the meditation of my heart always in thy sight. O Lord, my helper and my redeemer. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicuterat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Continuation of the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Gloria tibi Domine. Now when it was late that same day, the first of the week, and the doors were shut, where the disciples were gathered together for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them, Peace be to you. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples therefore were glad when they saw the Lord. He said therefore to them again, Peace be to you. As the Father has sent me, so I also send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them. And he said to them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost, whose sins you shall forgive they are forgiven them, and whose sins you shall retain, they are retained. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, who is called Didymus, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the place of the nails, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days, again his disciples were within, and Thomas with them. Jesus cometh, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace be to you. Then he said to Thomas, Put in thy finger hither, and see my hands, and bring hither thy hand, and put it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. 
Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus saith to him, Because thou hast seen me, Thomas, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and have believed. Laus tibi Christe.